Now, there's one thing missing from this is that if we're going to start using this a lot, we always know that to test if we're connected to the internet before we actually run this integration test, whether it's running a machine or some CSCD process like Jenkins or Travis CI or Circle CI or whatever, we need to basically bake this in because everyone knows that Google is the most reliable website ever. Let's just bake it in. We'll remove it from here and we'll actually bake it into this argument. So let me do something called equals Google. What this means is if you don't pass anything, it'll default the URL to this value. Otherwise, it'll take what you pass in. It's the same exact thing as if you were to go this or this. They effectively mean the same thing. So if you assume that every single parameter you ever write in JavaScript basically looks like this, it defaults to undefined, that is kind of a, another way to think about it. Go ping with nothing, it'll go ahead and use Google. And if we call it with jessewarden.com, then it will override their URL and use what I pass it. So let's test it again. You can see it works just fine. Fantastic. That's step one. However, step two is that this function still isn't that pure and that this fetch is from the polyfill. If we wanted to use the native browser one or we wanted to replace it if in Node, for example, with request promise or some other version of that like Axios, we need to pass in what module we're actually using. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit more pure. We'll call it fetch module. We pass that in, we'll just go ahead and change it just to make it differentiate between which module we're talking about. Because if we leave it as fetch, it's a little confusing as it referring to this guy or, something, or what you pass in, right? You don't wanna have shadow, shadowed variables. You have a very specific fetch module, we'll now pass in manually fetch. And for ping, we'll pass it in manually as well. And so when we rerun the function, it still works the same as before, but we've now made it a little more pure to guarantee that this fetch module is getting this URL. And for here, it defaults to Google, whereas here, then explicitly uses jessewarden.com. So we have that default parameter.